I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today I had the experience of being around a three-year-old and a five-year-old. I was driving with my friend. We were going down to LA to see Marianne Williamson and she had to drop off her two little boys in Malibu on the way. So I spent about 30 or 40 minutes in the car with them. And it was really fun. They're, they're one's five and one's three, you know, they're in the back seat and mom was driving. And so I had just kind of had my head turned around. I was talking to them and interacting with them. And it was really fun. Cause I, you know, I don't get to be around little kids so much anymore now that mine are grown and just to see how a lot of things never change <laughs> and, um, and how predictable kids are. And for me, you know, being a stranger, it was fun. I mean, I got to see all their little what mom would consider annoying behaviors, you know, kind of with fresh eyes. And so today I just want to share some of those experiences and hope that it can convey to you, you know, something to, when you get in a rut and tired of, of what your kids are doing, the same old things every day to maybe see it through somebody else's eyes and give you a breath of fresh air and just not be so frustrated and discouraged uh, at the things that happen every day. And one of the things that was really cute is, well, the little boys, first of all, were very observant. So they were noticing there was one car that looked like one of their teacher's cars, or there was, you know, the place where they went and had something to eat at one point in time. So they were really watching everything in their environment. And I just, you know, found it fun to be able to acknowledge them for all they were seeing and observing. And then the little, the little, the younger one, the three-year-old, uh, his toy was on the floor of the back of the car. And so I picked it up and handed it to him and and he started playing with it. And the other one already had a toy in his hand and was playing. And at some point, I turned around and looked, and the older boy had gotten the little boy's toy. And the little boy was yelling and saying, you know, give me back my toy. And the the older one wasn't going to give it back to him. And, and I said to the little one, I go, can I make a suggestion? And he said, no. And I go, okay, I'm not going to make a suggestion then. I mean, I didn't say that, but I, you know, it was, it was funny because he was very three where, you know, he wasn't interested. And, um, so, you know, so I waited a minute and then he said, uh, he said something else. And I said, well, did you consider asking him please? And then he said to his little brother, can I have my toy back, please? And the little brother didn't really want to give it back to him. And I turned around back in the front and started talking to my friend again. And I looked back about maybe 15 seconds later and the older boy had reached over and given back the little guy his toy. So even though he didn't want to do it immediately, it took him a few, you know, a few seconds. He finally did, I guess, what he considered the right thing, which was to give his brother back the toy. And then at another point in time, the little guy dropped his toy on the floor and he started screaming. And um, so I turned around and I was going to pick it up for him. And, and, I, and I was like, uh, I was like, do you want me to pick up the toy or something like that? And he goes, pick up my toy. And the mom said, say please. And I was like, oh, he has to say please. Okay. So... Uh, he's, so I had the toy in my hand and, you know, I reached over and picked it up and he's like, I want my toy. And I, and I said, please. And he's, and he wouldn't say it. And so then I tickled his foot. I didn't give it back to him yet. And I tickled his foot and I said, say please. And then he said, I want my toy, please. And I handed it to him right away. And that happened one or two more times where he, he tossed his toy down or dropped it or something. And I pick it up and, and he said, I want my toy. And I didn't say anything to him the second time because I'd already shown him what I wanted. And so then the second time I just paused and I kind of turned the other way a little bit. And then the second time he said, I want my toy, please. And I handed it to him right away again. So it was really cute just to see how quickly and easily they, they can respond, um, especially, you know, from a stranger. And I know it's hard when you're their mom to get that kind of energy going. But if you can just get that stranger's eye view of them. You know, one day when you're in the car, instead of being in your old routine, just say, you know, I'm going to see these kids through someone else's eyes. See if I can see something new or different or intriguing about my own kids and acknowledge them or play with them or have fun with them instead of having it all end up in a fight. Have a great day. Happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? 
were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Hey!